Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add contacts on the Microsoft Teams app. So this will work the same for iPhone, Android and similar process on your computer as well. So what you can do first off when you open up the app, you're going to see this like home page here, like the feed activity page. That's going to be what you're first on there. Potentially in the middle you might see a big invite people button. Obviously you can click on that to invite people, but if not, click on the top right hand corner where you'll see the little uh, person's face with a plus next to it. You want to click on there. And then it's going to be the same thing that pops up. I would say invite people to Teams. You can share an invitation link, but most of you will want to enter the email address. So of like your friend, your work colleague, or whatever, you're going to want to type in uh, like their email address. So make sure you do have that. So like this, for instance, I'm going to type in subscribe one at gmail.com. Like for reasons, this for this one. And then you're going to want to click on the plus uh, sign on the right hand side of the person's email. Uh, what that'll do is send them the request. Uh, once it's done, you're going to see like a tick appear, just like it did. Here, I'll say invited members. What's going to happen on their end, or potentially your end, if someone sent you a friend request, you'll get like a like a red notification button. Then you'll be able to click on that, accept the friend request, etc. And once you've done that, uh, potentially you can uh, go into like the chat portion of it. You'll be able to message them in there. You know, invite them to a call or whatever. You can like, go in the call section. Uh, you can invite them to Teams, etc. So like you can add multiple contacts to a team. You can do it within here as well. So hopefully that covers all the bases. Leave a like on the video if that did help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click on the screen to see more how-to videos on the Microsoft Teams app and other ones similar. But that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video.